Archangel Michael, as I draw this sigil, your sigil, I invite you to this space as I burn frankincense and have your Enochian medal at hand. I seek to call upon you, evoking you completely very soon. Archangel Michael, destroyer of demons, protector of man, leader of the heavenly host. I ask that you make this sigil of yours that I am drawing in my own blood, potent with your energy, and correct in alignment with your will, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, come to this place. I invite you in good faith, Archangel Michael. Archangel of the South, Archangel identified with fire, Archangel identified with the path of the warrior, be present in this your sigil, recently discovered by me and accepted as your sign. Be present in this sigil, Archangel Michael, that we may commune and I may learn from you, Archangel Michael, of the heavenly host. Michael. Michael, Michael, my father, Archangel Michael. Michael, come to me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Michael. 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 Archangel Michael, come to me. Michael, Michael, Michael. I offer you my blood, Michael, to tie you to me. To tie the heavenly host to myself, the angels, within and beyond this realm. Michael. Michael, Michael, The sigil is complete, Michael. Now for the next part of the ritual that you and I will partake in together, Archangel Michael. I anoint this sigil 
with this oil of frankincense and myrrh, Archangel Michael. And I anoint my third eye, placing a mark, a holy mark, upon my third eye, that it may open and see past time and space to the realm beyond realms, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael. I now read a prayer to you, Archangel Michael. First in Latin, then in English. Sancti Michael Archangele, defende nos in prolio contra nequitiam et esidias die bolai. Esto Presidium imperet ili dis supplices deprecamer tucu princeps militia caelestias satanam ali o sco Spiritus malignus, he ad preditio nim, animero perva gente in mundo divina frutute in infernum detrude. Amen. 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 Now in English, Archangel Michael, Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the malice and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. 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 Your Enochian sigil, Archangel Michael, I display for others to see. From the Book of Enoch, which contains the language of the angels. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 You know, I didn't expect to make the video any longer than it was uh, in the past clip that you just saw. I didn't expect to create any additional footage for this particular working, this very first working with Archangel Michael. Um, I've always felt an affinity for Archangel Michael, but I never really knew why. And I thought that, you know, it'd be nice to create a, uh, a sizzle for him. And I found one online uh, that was basically revealed to somebody that look just right. And you know, this is a sigil I just made, of course, as you saw in the video. Um, it's a very interesting one. I don't know why it was so effective in my mind in describing Archangel Michael, but it just is. And, you know, I wanted to create this sigil and maybe have it around and focus on it from time to time. Um, but I have found that, you know, just minutes after doing this little ritual, um, I have this very strange feeling. Um, it's not, it's not a bad feeling. If anything, it's it's a wonderful feeling, but it's strange because I haven't felt it before. 
or perhaps I haven't felt it in this way. Now, what I mean is that I feel as if I've come home from a long journey. You know how when you leave your house for a long time, you come back and you're like, man, this was wonderful. Um, no, the, my home is wonderful and it's always, it's so nice to be back even though I've had so many experiences, so many wonderful things have happened to me, it's nice to be back home. And I don't mean that I feel like I'm becoming Christian. Archangel Michael and different angels, in my understanding as well as many other people's understanding, are not part are not just for Christians. These are angels you can work with no matter who you are because we have a more complicated complicated understanding of angels and Christianity and magic and God. So it's not like I feel like I'm more Christian now. Um, but I do feel connected with this particular entity that we usually call Archangel Michael. Um, we usually call Archangel Michael that um, because of the lore that has been spun around his character, but it's a being that you only understand in the heart and the mind. And I don't know this because I know Michael in particular, but it feels like I, I'm getting closer now. But many beings throughout many different spiritual traditions and many different religions, you can know them by other names and you don't have to be of that religion in order to contact them and work with them. You just have to have a particular either alignment or a very good way of convincing them to help you if you're not aligned to their cause. But my cause is very much aligned to Arch Archangel Michael. Um, now, I wish to expel any Tomasic energy, any dark energy or torporic energy or any um, energy that sees down is up and up is down from my being. And I hope to combat all those who want to establish the infernal empire in the world. Um, and though I'm not strong enough yet to do that on my own, <laughs> it'll be a long time before I am, probably not even in this life. Um, Archangel Michael also combats those who wish to establish the infernal empire. And I could go further into that, but let's not, let's not go into that because it'll take a long time. Um, needless to say, Archangel Michael's attunement and goals and my own are synonymous. Even though we are, of course, slightly different spiritually, he's much more powerful than me. Don't, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'm on the level with Archangel Michael, but we have similar motives. Providing mercy, providing love, and protecting the weak who cannot protect themselves. And just because they're weak, that doesn't mean they shouldn't be protected. And helping those who try, who try to be good people, even if they don't, they don't end up being good people, those who truly try. I want to help everyone who's willing to give it a shot to uh, show compassion to the rest of humanity, uh, to all life forms, and the ones who wish to educate themselves and expand the horizons of their knowledge while allowing helping others to do the same if they want to, and putting people in a place to where they can ask deeper questions instead of focusing just on food or medical care or survival, but helping people into a place to where they can ask the deeper questions. That's part, that's part of my motives as well. But, um, of course, I want to spread knowledge on my YouTube channel. But regardless, you get the idea that me and Michael, we're on the same wavelength. So let's describe this feeling that I've, that I've been experiencing just now. Um, it feels like... It feels like a heightened energy has has formed around me in a cloud, and it's kind of feeding into my pores slowly and making me aligned with it. Expanding my, my ability to feel the heightened nature of the things around me, of the potential, the highest potential of the things around me, the things within me. Um, this feeling is remarkable, and it's not one that I particularly felt before. Now, when it comes down to who we are as an individual. I did not expect to to feel this in working with Archangel Michael because most of my working with workings with other beings and other entities, um, there's a feeling, but not a not a huge strong one. Besides Odin and Divine Mother Kalima, very strong there, and with Thor and Freyr, uh, and with Papa Legba, definitely. Um, but 
beyond those beings, it, the feeling hasn't been strong, but right now the feeling is very strong. It's like my whole body is vibrating and my being is vibrating. And I don't want to dispel this angel. I don't want to cast this angel away from me. I want it to stay. I want that connection to remain. I don't want to end the evocation that apparently I did without completely meaning to. So let's let's end there with these thoughts. Feel free to shoot down any comments or questions in the comment section below. But let's end with a prayer to, to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel. Um, and this is a Catholic prayer, but once again, I'm not Catholic. Now, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the malice and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.